See the vice one when you were slapping the two kids? Yeah. The bodybuilders, like that went, I, I still get sent. Yeah, it's still, it's, I still yeah, get, yeah, yeah, no yeah, joke, yeah. I still yeah. get sent. But that. listen to this. How yeah. was that? Who was the kids and how was all, all that come about? Was that, was that totally 100% legit? Was that? Oh, yeah, and, yeah. And listen, things? listen. So I've got two guys filling me in the gym and Tony, everyone knows who he is. Um, Oh, the kid who was slapped? Yeah. Yeah, so I've got them filming in the gym. And there's a bit of a sad story here. So the one with the tattoo, and it was a young lad, stocky lad, Dave. He died him. Oh. It was fucking dead sad, mate. Uh, so anyway, uh, they're in the gym, and I don't have steroids sold in the gym. Simple as that. I'm not, as you said. Um, I have... It was full of weights. I have... 12 bags now, there's two rings, and it's all fitness and cardio. So look, if someone wants to take juice, go and take it in your fucking house, mate. I'm like, that's what you want to do. Go and do it. I'm not asked. Don't fucking sell him his gym. So uh, I've said to this kid, this the one with the tattoo, I didn't really know. He's only been coming in the gym a month or two. But Dave, the little bodybuilder, he was on juice. He told me he was on juice. Uh, I said, Sam, he's going in for shows. We went to Southport and watched him do a show. And this little fucking idiot he was with, I'm glad you brought him up. Yeah, because that slap done his life the way he could. The tattoo's gone, he's got a normal job now, so I believe. Um, and I said to the film crew, I got told he was selling gear in the gym. I thought, you fucking cheeky cunt. Now look, I'm not going to be like, oh, I, I'm not out. I went, he's selling juice in the gym and he's not giving me fuck up. Not only is he taking the piss selling it, he's not even offered me a fucking thing out of it. So I'm fuming. So I've said to the camera crew, look, just just wait by the desk. So when you come into my gym, there's a desk. And my office used to be in the gym. There's a desk. So what's all I said, I just need to bother this kid. Just and I'm like that with that mic thing you went. And here he's coming in, went, look, just so I said to the man, tell him I'll tell him I want to see him in the office. I go down the office. Bump. Here's fucking Vice or whoever used to film me behind me desk like that. All right, I went. I said, look, forget. You see me saying, look, forget about this. Because I'm near. I can't say, hang on, you just want to go. I'll start again. I'm, I'm, I've got a, a bit of a, I had a bit of a temper on and I can control my temper. I'm really good. I'm really good. But I thought, you fucking cheeky bastards. Send them fucking gear in the gym. One, you know I don't have it. If you want to take it, take it. If you want to take it in your house and you can't do it, don't fucking sell it yeah. <laughs> so anyway, he went, and you see me say, look, fucking forget about them. You sell gear in the gym, so I slapped him and said, like, you owe me a grand, and you owe me a grand. Sell a fucking gear in my gym. And then the other Muppet that was with me, he tried to give me a few digs. And if you watch it, he's hit them. But no, I did generally slap him. I, I did. Um... And then when they've gone, I'll give them a proper dig then. Because I, I generally said no, they was there. I generally, and on ass, and that's on me, Nan's fucking cursed. I didn't know he, he was there. Anyway, he's fucked off. I said, you owe me again. So Dave, who worked in the gym, I said, I'm shocked at you. I said, you're a fucking boss kid, you. I never took nothing off him. I made the other kid pay the grand. And then Dave, uh, the young stocky lad, he's out of the a concert. And he's had a bit of drink and he's arguing with his beard. And you know when you have that little rain stop over your door? Mm -hmm. You know, like, he's climbed on that to shout his beard. She's opened the window and he, he's let me know you're not getting in. I've been back to you, the ticket. The fucking poor kids fell. Only, only like 11 foot. Bang's head dead. Dead mate. And you know, he was dirty bastards putting things on the side. Sean killed him. She all turned him out the window. Come on, mate. For fuck's sake. It was fucking sad, mate. It was yeah, fucking horrific. It was God rest sad. his soul. 